do that. Mic is on. Achievement. I'm always going to go for that achievement. Uh, background. Treehouse. Uh, subway platform. Washroom. Complete the toilets, toilet seats, and toilets. Last. Ah, oh, I was going to say first, but no, last. So the toilets need to be done last. Hey, bro, who who did who really did a stinky in here? Jesus Christ! People nowadays. <laughs> One second. Bye. Sting. We did a stinky. Burst a fucking vein just by doing that. And copy, paste, visit site. Here you go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Absolutely light bulbs. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, a mole. Ba 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 You're in a... That is so rude.
It may be a long one, folks. Oh, look how orange it is. Did you know that hand dryers don't really wash, like, clean your hands? That's why I always use paper towels to clean off my hands. Like, how, how are hand dryers still a thing? That's my question. If they just make your hands more dirtier, then... Well, not dirtier, but, like... They do, I guess, clean them a bit, but... Like, they don't really... Clean them as much as... You think they do. That's all I'm, gonna, that's all I'm trying to say there. If I go over it, I look a little bit, you know. And oh, carnival. What? Oh, it was no. Oh, the helter skelter. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hate the hell out of that. I think I might have forgot to do the other light in the other in the other tunnel. It clearly doesn't need to be that long, does it? Power wash simulator. Thought why not uh, continue playing this game for a bit more? Cause uh, yeah. <whistles> uh. 
You want to know what's annoying with the, the Spongebob DLC is the fact that the achievement for one of them it's not that tedious per se it's just yeah doing doing it really but I can certainly get it because it's not that hard to get really who lives in the panel under the sea not sure if I told you this story before, but I once had this like teacher who didn't know who lived under the pineapple under the sea. I have never met somebody who doesn't know who SpongeBob was, but she had no clue who SpongeBob was, and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> I was like. So freaked out. I was like, you don't know Spongebob? What the frick? Like, I remember the first ever episode. Of, like, Spongebob. It's crazy. Like this was back in school, uh, when, I, when I was like really young, like probably in my tens, I was like 10 years old probably, I forget how young I was back then, like your age tends to like alter. I could have been way younger than that but back then. Hand dryer, baby. Hand dryer. 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 Uh, let's go over it like this. I've been reading this book and it's very good. It's like uh very like it's in like the the nineteen the nineteens. Um it's uh, about like a so it's like an LGBT like book. But it's more to do with like the I guess history? Like Chinese I think Chinese like history and stuff like that and it's about a, a story about this girl who f discovers that she's into women and you know she she feels shameful because back in those days I don't think it was even legal to be like like lesbian back then or like gay basically and it's just like like 
Yeah, t times have really changed. Like, sure, there is still problems with Russia. With all of their laws over there. I don't know why. What what has Putin have against gay people? That's that's what I want to know. What does he have a? What's? Why? I uh, I really want to do some research on that man. On why he hates people wanting to be themselves. Or maybe we could all be wrong. Maybe Putin is actually a, a great guy. <laughs> I don't think he is though. But I don't know. Sometimes we're wrong about evil people. But I don't think we might be wrong about Putin. Like, sure, I'm, I'm sure he's done something good. But like that's like one good thing. Over like the thousands of bad things he's probably done. I feel like if more countries accepted LGBT people in, like, the world would be, I guess, a nicer place to live in. Like, sure, we do have, like, Ben Shapiro, uh, ben, and Ben Shapiro, and Alex Jones, I think that's his name, um, and other people that have hatred towards the LGBT group for no reason all because we have our own pronouns do you know what's funny about people who are I guess offended when it comes to people that have their own pronouns is the fact that they are the ones offended from us like they say oh Oh, we're not trying to offend. When clearly they probably do. But in reality, we know their secret. They're actually offended of us being who we want to be. And they're just jealous because they, they just grew up in a world where, you know, they couldn't really be themselves. So they just grew up on a, on a, Outlook that wasn't really good. So, yeah. I feel like if those people did research on the history of LGBT people. Maybe they would have more respect, you know? Instead of trying to bash us down. And say, oh, you can't be a woman. You look like a man. No. And it's just like, oh, why? Why is that the case? Why can't someone be a man just because... They look like a woman or like vice versa. Like, why not? What What's so hard for you to understand that? You know? It's crazy to me. Like, just because I'm saying this, like, it's. It's a political thing, which it shouldn't really be political, but it does come down to p politics and 
Like shit like that, and it's just crazy. Imagine liking a president just because you have similar views. So you just grow up, grow up with those same views for your entire life. And then that president, like, isn't president anymore. And then a new, a new president comes in. And then you're just like, oh, I don't agree with that president because he has different views. It's just like, but you made your entire life on a president's view view of people so what was that problem about like I'm pretty sure the LGBT people like like community don't really bother getting into like president uh, president people and things like that because most if not all presidents tend to have some type of problem when it comes to the community or a particular community Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It's crazy on the bus. Window, window, window. Toilet time. I guess the reason why LGBT becomes p political is because like of basically presidents or like uh what do you call it in the UK I forget what you call it in the UK because we don't have a president we have we had a queen and then she died and now we have a king I think do we? I don't know Who's king? <laughs> I don't know who king is. Who is king? I I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, I forgot who, who basically is control of everything. Of this country basically. Like, imagine the next person that roams over England is, like, a evil person. And they've just been waiting to become, like, king or queen. Like, that would, that would suck. That would really suck. Like, the queen could have been, a, like, a very bad person. Like, sure, I'm not... I'm sure she ain't perfect, but, like... You know, I'm sure she was a nice queen.
Basin, a basin, to pit, to pit, to pit, to pit, basin, a basin, it's a basin. Everybody loves a basin. Who the fuck is basin? <laughs> Who the fuck is basin? Sorry. Tapestan. 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 Tap it is now done. Who the hell is basin? Chop, 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 chop. Try and put two songs that were like brain wormy together. Come on, thank you. Urinal. Do you call it Urano or Urano? That's the question of the ages. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, can't beat uh everything. Who the hell is Edgar? It wasn't the most greatest song, but it was really catchy. If you need a catchy song, just repeat a word multiple times and then call it a day. <laughs> like, yep, our song is done. We may not have won, but we have made a catchy tune. <laughs> I need to listen to podcasts again. Because I've been missing a lot of them. Quite recently. And I ain't, I ain't apologizing for that. I'm a, I'm a music person. More than a podcast person. So. I have my reasons. I do have reasons. Of course. Come on. Come on bro. You know you want to. Thank you. Let's do the melt grates now. Mm -hmm. We go down and deep. Who the hell is Edgar? I kind of want to see some, somebody try and do a remix of every single song in Eurovision. I know it's not been, like, it's been a while 
since the Eurovision has come out now, but be kind of sick to hear a remix. Not like a like a Nick one of those mega mix. A mega mix is basically just like, oh, this was, this were all of the songs. No, I want somebody to go full on remix, like mixing some like cha cha chas and some tattoos, <laughs> and like, yeah, go ballistic. Go full on ballistic. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Why don't you think I'm crazy? Sorry, I'm just checking something. Options. No, I said options. What are my options, huh? Eh? General. Uh oh. Hmm. Get going to get real close to it. Underneath, get in the sides, okay, that's good. Get the... This bit. Oh, I wish we, we, I wish we were done already, but we're not. Let's put my pin on. Yep. My mic has been on, thankfully. So I haven't watched Bob, Bobby or, or, or Oppenheimer. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to watch him, but I am going to watch him. Probably separate times from each other though. I don't like to watch two movies on the same day. I'll be honest. That's just me. But hey, that's just me. You may be wondering how I got here. <laughs> the whole classic Thing of that. Alright. Nice. Top is done. Another top is done. 
make sure this is done. Okay, here's a very weird question. But I, I wonder if uh, King John Un is, is that how you pronounce his full name? I don't know. I wonder if he's doing anything good. Like, actually good. Um, because I would be very shocked if he has done something good. <laughs> like, what? He did that? No way. That's pretty good of him. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, little tap. Come on. Thank you. Like, I want to see, like, if the, like, if every, like, bad president has done something, at least one good thing. Like, for for no reason whatsoever, I, I wanted to do this, I, like, I wanted to, like, go travel to Russia <laughs> and see if they would allow me in, just for being gay. I mean, I might be shot on sight, but I don't know. Maybe they'd be like, ah, yeah, come on in. It's like, okay. I didn't expect that. <laughs> like, I think Moscow. Is it Moscow? Or Moscow? I think that place might be, like, more accepted. When it comes to gay people. So, I don't think it's the whole of Russia that is against people were gay but you know yeah the only thing I like about Russia is the fact it's a cold country I liked I like cold weather I like how it feels against my skin it's just a very therapeutic feeling So, I feel like I, I feel like I would at at least jo enjoy the weather <laughs> in Russia. Cuz I'm sure there's a lot of LGBT people who live in Russia. And I I'm wondering if those people are terrified just to come out because of the rules over there. I don't know. I feel like Russia could have become more accepted for gay people over the past coming years, but like, yeah. I'll do some research after stream. You know what? Let's do some research right now. 
let's do some research right now. Okay. Why is Russia against against LGBT people? Yeah, they face uh, challenges and stuff. Um. Uh. Somebody be telling me about like past years. Uh, um, has made a difficult decision to leave Russia. A new a new law targeting LGBT people. Yes. A new anti-LGBT law was p p passed by a Russian parliament in December of, I guess, 2022, maybe? That's, that's really weird. Propaganda of non-traditional sexual relations. Anyone caught committing this offence could be fined up to 400,000 rubles, $5,840, or four thousand seven hundred thirty pounds Jesus Christ. You get fined that much just to be gay in Russia. <laughs> Damn. You have to pay money to be able to become gay. <laughs> Damn, it's like a DLC pack that you have to pay. <laughs> My God, why? That is ridiculous. Oh, these grates are going to be annoying as hell to clean. I hate these. Um, so you know what I could do instead? I can um, do this. There you go. Clean it with this. Nice. I like that. Make sure I go underneath. Yeah. I think there's also like some parts of America that are also that has like a a gay bill thing as well and I'm just like what why why parts of America I'm sure even parts of the UK as well 
I, I wouldn't be surprised if no country has really changed that much. Like, you hear, like, recent news of, like, of, like, I forget what you call them. Like, British, British, like, pol parliament, like, talking about LGBT plus community. And they're just like, oh, uh, this and this about this and this. And it's just like, no, don't make it harder, please. I'm trying to live. <laughs> Let me live. <laughs> God. I, I hate being political, but yeah, it's just, it's so hard not to be political when there's problems like that in, in 2023. Crazy. Time to clean. This was supposed to be a peaceful stream, and now it's just turned into a war of just about political shit. Yeah, Texas. Yeehaw. <sighs> like, that's why Disney hasn't, like, done, like, LGBT things in their movies. I mean, I think they did do something with, like, Stranger Worlds, but it didn't do greatly in box office. I should watch the movie to see if it's, like, like, you know... Yeah. I think Disney is experimenting with LGBTness in their movies and stuff. I mean they they did create a movie shot and that was like completely like LGBT like like plus community like thing. So that's good. To see Disney making that step forward, you know. But but I I just wish they would, you know, do something more bold, something more. Like yeah, I'm. We're, we're showing you gayness. What are you gonna do about it, bitch? <laughs> you can't sue Disney. <laughs> it's impossible. I feel like they would have the money to do that type of stuff. But, yeah, you know. I think the problem with Disney is the fact that they don't want to upset fans of the Disney community so you know which I you know I guess I do understand that side of things is that you don't want to piss everyone off <laughs> and probably lose a lot of money but yeah Oh, 
God. Cause I I see a lot of like Disney movies like being like repi representing like like Mexican culture or like Spanish culture or like Japanese or Chinese or like that type of stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if they tried that their hand in like maybe uh, like LGBT. Type of stuff, but yeah. Like I'm not gonna be mad at Disney if they don't do one, but like it would be nice. At the end of the day, I'm I'm still gonna watch their movies and love their movies. So, you know. Like, I'm not the boss of Disney. <laughs> Thank God I'm not. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot to take in. Eighty-nine percent. Ninety percent. Oh. Right, one percent done. I think the main problem problem with America as well is the fact that people in America are racist, homophobic, transphobic, and all that stuff. So trying to like change their mind on that type of stuff is really hard to do. And even if it does work on some of them, most of the time it's because they have an open mind about it. Man. 
still 92%. Let's do these walls next. I'll probably end it here after the after we've done the toilets. It's been long enough anyway. Good job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> A nice message. I wonder if maybe the reason why we haven't seen people come back from like heaven or hell is the fact that they have to make a deal with God or like Satan. And like, if you return back to Earth, that means you have to become I immortal and stuff like that. And nobody takes that offer because I'm pretty sure not nobody wants to live like forever but I kind of want to without aging of course but I do kind of want to live forever I want to see what happens to the world like see how bad it gets see how good it gets you know just see everything happen and I can't die because I'm immortal. So, like, I might see, like, horrible shit go down, but, you know. Be kind of interesting what happens to Earth. You know? Do we destroy it? Do we not? Do we revive it? You know? That's, that's a good question right there. Like, if I ever were to get that deal, I think I would take it. I mean, sure, I don't believe in heaven or hell, but, like, you know. If those places were true, if they were actual places, then, yeah, I think I would take the offer. You know? I mean, sure, eventually the sun will destroy Earth anyway, so, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, let's just make the most out of it, you know, without destroying Earth ourselves, you know. That is so annoying. The corners, these corners. I need to go around the toilets because I need to do those last. I need to do them last.
This can drive me insane. This is gonna drive me insane. Thank God for that. I think I would take the chance. It's the most weirdest thing as well is because when I was out with my mum uh, in public, this random person just came up with me, came up to me with the with this uh, like pa pamphlet, and he said. Want to know the big secret about eternity? I was like, what? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> so it's just like, okay. That's oddly Pacific. It had the word big question. Or, I think, big question or something. I kind of do want to read it. I don't know why. I'm very interested. I don't want to buy into the shit though, but you know, I, I'm very interested. It's like, ah, yes. Well, you see, for only five hundred dollars a month, you'll get the answers. And I'm like, oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> oh God. Oh, this would be a, a joke question, though. Um, would you buy something for, like, $500 a month if you actually got the answers to how to have an in internal life? Like, would you? If you could basically live forever? Or at least as how long you should want? And I think that's the main issue with those types of people, right? It's the, it's the fact that some people will buy into it because, you know, people want to know if it's possible to have in an internal life and stuff. Maybe when we die, we actually live forever. Just in pitch blackness. Have you ever thought of that? That's a question, right? I'm, get, I'm getting all, like, spiritual now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> do we still live when we die? Do we just see blackness? What do we see when we die? Do we just see nothing? <laughs> Nobody knows. They 
Dead people can't tell us. <laughs> it's like the most, like, it's an Im impossible question to answer. Because nobody will know what comes after death. Maybe you do see something. And what is that thing you see? It's the main question. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a good question. Because there is a belief that you'll come like a an animal or something like that. And I'm like, if that if that was true, I hope I become a penguin. That would be like a dream come true. Just become the like the animal that you love to become. I wouldn't mind living the penguin's life. That'd be great. And since animals can't talk, then we may never know if animals are like, Hey, you, I'm, I'm like your grandson from past generations, <laughs> but I'm an animal, but now, but now I'm an animal. Like, no animal can really say that. <laughs> that that's the main issue there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, I might be tired. <laughs> I think it's my tired brain talking. <laughs> Talking about random shit. It's like that, uh, the whole, like, oh, this animal looks like me. Like, when you get a dog, sometimes, like, that dog tends to look a lot like you. Or, like, similar to one of your family members. And, but imagine it turns out that animal is actually, it was a person, but just got re 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 reincarnated to a dog or a cat or a Whatever animal. You know? That's why we're just like, that dog looks like you, kind of. And it's just like, what? <laughs> huh? No way. Dude. <sighs> Maybe that's why animals tend to look kind of human like, almost. Like, some dogs have, like, human faces. Just like, oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's probably the only way that spirits can communicate, you know? Dancing on the ceiling. Oh, there we go. Come on, light bulb. Light, light's done. This light's not done. Come on, become. Thank you. Become? What? Become. Yes, become. 
Hmm. Okay. Tiled floor. The ceiling, ceiling panel, does it say I can do a uh, washroom, yeah I can do this, that's good, I can do these as well. I'm going to do these. There you go. Oh. Oh, careful. Oh my god, guys. Which is the true life of everything? Get this achievement. Okay. I just be very careful now. Make sure that I don't accidentally do the seats. Let's try and get this achievement. Because I don't want to do this. The, the entire thing again. Okay, careful. The ball. Thank God. Kitchen. The kitchen? It's cubicle, not kitchen wall. Oh my god. Gonna drive me insane. Thank 
God. The wall behind this, the pole on this. Ninety-nine percent done. Like killing ninety-nine percent of germs. This is this clearly ain't ninety-nine percent of germs. There's probably a lot of germs here. Yeah. Oh, the, the light. The light is the conquer. <sighs> God. Okay. I think. Oh, cubicle wall. There you go. Um, this bit trim is good. Okay, what else needs to be doing? Oh, cubicle walls. Okay, cubicle wall, cubicle wall, cubicle wall, cubicle wall, cubicle wall. It's just ah ceiling panel up here. Are these cubicle walls? No, they're frames. Ah, light switch. Nice. This. Oh, wait. Washroom wall done? This cubicle wall is gonna... There's two! How is that two? That makes no sense. All of them seem to be done. That's a frame. I somehow missed this. Oh, this cubicle wall is going to sh Drawing my brain. I should check the other light on there. All the lights done in both. The light. Light.
Let's. Yep, there. Oh. Washroom walls. Window frames. I haven't done a washroom wall. The fullest. Which one's going to be that one then? Window. Like this bit, maybe? The frame, good. No frame's good. No frame's good. No frame's good. <laughs> there you go. Nice. I'm gonna find the washroom wall that needs to be done as well. Oh! <gasps> I found it! Woo, okay. Thank fuck for that. Just need to find the washroom wall now. Let's go. Okay. This could be fun to find. this so much ceiling panel come on what am I missing oh 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 that well then cubicle walls no one so I have to check uh this uh, that's just the frame frame ah oh, there you go Whew. okay toilet toilet time and we can finish this live stream Thankfully. Uh-oh, stinky. There you go, that's the first toilet. Oh, no, me. Hello, I'm a gnome, and you've just been gnomed. No. I just got gnomed. Let's go. Move. Have to use a smaller nibble now. Two left. Brink. God for this. Last one now. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I went uh, went a bit crazy, but you know, I am crazy. Ha ha ha. And a three, two, one. 
and we are D O N N O E Yeah, nice. Watch this. Whoa, achievement, let's go. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Booyah. I wonder what the bonus job is now. Oh, satellite dish. That's cool. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye.